name Nina Ricci stands for classic Parisian chic, but Peter Copping is destabilizing that with a great big erotic twist. That was a um, ravishingly deshabillé collection. It was. It really felt like sort of things out of your grandmother's attic and your treasure chest that you've been saving all your life. Well, I had in mind uh, a young girl that kind of discovered and was exploring her mother's, grandmother's and past generations' wardrobes of her family. Well, it was all about going through um, a dressing up box, but customizing it, you know, in a contemporary present way. I love the kind of proportions being mixed up and the kind of quirkiness of it all. I thought it was fantastic. It's very Lulu de la Falaise again. It feels like her time. Do you have any cinematic input with this one? Well, not really cinematic as such, but I've looked at the work of Pina Bausch and some of the music that I used today was from the Wim Wenders film on Pina Bausch. Maybe that was, uh, you know, I know that Pina's in 3D, but uh, if I think about it, there was an incredibly strong three-dimensional quality in these clothes too. Yeah, and I think that's, that always comes through with the cut, the texture of the fabrics and the detailing which is used as well. And the colours are so incredible and, and the way he works on tweed. You know, tweed can get a little old ladyish, and, and he made it very light, you know, weaving it on organza. I thought it was very clever. Well, that was a little bit wicked though, that collection too. There was quite a little subversive little edge to it. Sexy. And, and there was definitely an edgy elegance. There is always uh, a subversiveness to the clothes, but it's undercurrent, it's never in your face. Being English, he has that way he can be Parisian, but yet it's got a bit of that, you know, naughty English schoolgirl bit going on. I think he is the king of sexy boudoir chic. Uh, it's very French. How is it French? Tell me. In other countries, they would show you the skin. Here, you don't see skin, but it's very suggestive. And you see underneath three layers of lace, you do see the skin, and it's very, very sexy. Do you think the friendship affected the art of undressing? I think. Peter Copping at Nina Ricci is working hard on perfecting the art of undressing and making it special and seductive.